Let's now get into the motion of the club, the arms, and the body. This is important for the golf swing. This is where we start making the golf swings. What we have to understand is that the A stands for the arms, the B stands for the body, and the C stands for the club. They do not work in that motion. During the backswing, the club is gonna start first. That will start the arms, and that will pull the body to the top. To make the proper downswing and to create power and get the club on the right path coming down, it needs to work in reverse order, and that is body, then arms, then club. So remember, on the backswing, we're just gonna spell the word cab, C-A-B. So as we set up and we've got our good fundamentals here, we want to get the, our wrists hinging first. We want to get the club moving first. So as you can see, when I start my wrist hinge, that will pull my arms. You can see here I have formed the letter L. That's what we are looking for. So we want the club to start first. That's going to move the arms. And then as the arms continue to move, that pulls the body across. That is the proper positioning. Many times I see faults where people set up here and their body works first. The club then works inside. Anytime the club works inside, it's gonna create this upward motion which will cause the club to come down too much from over the top and that will result in pulls and slices, popped up tee shots. So what you have to remember is that the club starts first simply by creating the L in the backswing right there. So we are creating the L. A great way to work on this is just put your feet together, set up to a ball. This will eliminate the body motion. We're just going to set up here and create the letter L. Notice the club and the arms are the only thing that's moving. That's all we're going to work on at this point. Once you do that, you can work on the body. A great drill for the body motion is just to put your arms across your body here. Work back into your right side, work through into your finish. Now, so to understand what we're working on here, we want the backswing to go club first, that's gonna pull the arms, and then that will pull the body. What you, the two drills you have to understand, to learn how the club and arms work, we put our feet together and we create this L to L drill. That is how you wanna learn how the club and the arms work. We are trying to get this club to hinge. We want to set our wrist. That is important because the club is light in this position. It's in balance. When the club is light and in balance, you can hit the ball farther. Do this at home. Hold the club here, hold it here. Feel which one's lighter. When you get this position, that's where you're going to be able to create more speed. The body motion, we have the posh or the pivot drill here where you're just working back and through. You can use your shadow, or if you get in a mirror, if I'm standing in a mirror, my nose is right in front of me. As I work back, my nose works to my right ear, and then I work through into that finished position. That is a boring drill, I understand that. You can do that when you get to the course. People think you're stretching and working on your game. Just allow your body to move a little bit. Another great drill to learn how the body motion works is just to grab a towel, and stick it underneath your armpits. And we're only gonna do half swings. This I call my tabletop drill, but this will teach you how the body works. We're gonna stand here with our correct posture, and we're only gonna swing back to halfway with no wrist hinge. We're gonna go here and there. Nothing too hard, nothing more. You're just learning how the body rotates in the golf swing properly, right? So, the club, then the arms, then the body. We do want not want our body to go first. Think of your lower body as a gate. If my body opens, the club comes inside. That is a death move. We are going to come over the top. So, let's get into the downswing.